Hi everyone, Moo here with another high roller video and this time we'll be taking a look at Rattlebone's Pluto. And now you might be wondering why is this guy doing a gold farming guide for Rattlebone's Pluto? And the answer to that is because a geeky chick requested it. Now before you jump on my back for calling a girl a geeky chick, okay, uh, that's her username. So yeah, back off. And by the way, she does gaming videos as well, so check out her channel. And uh, as per Jasmine's video, we're going to be doing three random runs with Rattlebones Pluto. Uh, just to see kind of what his uh, realistic gold farming potential is like. Not the uh, one in a hundred games where he earns three times his usual average. Wow, almost 2,000 gold on the first try. Makes you think he's almost as good as Jasmine based on my first attempt with her. Uh, but not quite. Uh, he's pretty good though. For uh, happiness level zoom that only has three uh, maximum skill, that's actually quite good, I have to say. Uh, oh, and one more thing before we start run two. Uh, a geeky chick, just so you know, my Rattlebones Pluto was only skill one. I spent those precious skill tickets to get him to skill three just for you. So there you have it. So let's start uh, run number two. See if we can do a little better than run number one. But run number one was fairly decent for, uh, for this soon. Combos don't really matter too much for uh, farming gold because we're not after score. 
And as far as I know, uh, having a high combo doesn't increase the amount of gold you get. Like, I'm 99% sure, but if for whatever reason that's not the case, please do let me know before I misinform the rest of the uh, YouTube community here. Thought for sure I could get into fever time. Uh, 2100, so even better than last time. That's actually quite impressive. So now we're gonna head into the uh, final run, the last boss. See how we do. He's actually really consistent, I have to say. Um, at least compared to my Jasmine run where I was all over the place between 2000 and 3300 base gold, so. Consistency is really good, especially in a game where luck does actually play a part in how well you do. And that's one of my biggest problems with most games, not just this one. Uh, but that's another topic for another video. I guess I have to. Oh, that's bad. My bad. It's a good thing he hits the middle because that way you can, um, create the chains at the bottom and not having to worry about the animation finishing um, and detracting from his ability to uh, clear his full amount. Oh, come on. So, uh, final boss beat us down a little bit, only 1,600, almost 1,700 gold. Uh, but that does it for him. Uh, Geeky Chick also requested that I do uh, Prince Charming, I believe. So that will be coming up next. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.